I wondered who jumped over the top of me. Yeah, jumping out of that ship onto another ship. Now that is new to me. We ought to do another one like that. Tonight. It was entirely random. That fellow happened to be in trouble because he missed me. It was, it was completely was random that I should jump in when I did and start recording and think that the spaceships looked like they were having sex. It was just one of them things. Chip shagging. Well, I can see you, so I suppose I... Are you coming to me or am I coming to you then? Oh, we're gonna take a, take off from from Lorville as soon as we can. As long as we can have a, a dance somewhere and I can get it on video and hopefully get a drink somewhere and get that on video too. That'll do me for the night. That'll do. Where's that whole uh I think there's a uh, like a hydroponics lab with glass panels outside in the moon surface. Is that on yellow? I think it is. Anyway, that would be an excellent place for people to stand on top of the glass canopies for a dance-off. Or well, not a dance-off, just a dance. I know it sounds mad, but trust me, when I get some music to it, and it's in a video, it'll look epic. <laughs> well, considering that this is Star Citizen, it already looks epic. More epic then. Oh, fancy. Exceptionally epic. <laughs> I can hear Jay, uh, Jamira Choir playing now. Uh, some, oh, no, nice. I don't know what the song's called, but. Dance? Yeah, does that, that make sense? Dance? Is it called Dance? I think it's called Dance. Not too sure. I'm also not well versed in dance. No, never mind. Now, I'd love to be able to just, if only you could just hit a button and and be able to do a, an audio clip. I'm sure there's a macro for it. So, yet again, am I meeting you guys or are you meeting me? I am currently at Grimex, so. Anywhere with good atmosphere, good scenery. Oh. As far as I know, we're loading up a ship at Laurelville and then we can be on our way. That's it then. I shall. Uh... Laurelville's very nice. I'd just begrudge heading all the way out to you again. Yes, After the indeed. escape. Stay there, stay there. The escape was so epic. I don't mind if you want to explore one of the moons of Hurston, then I will come to you. Well, let's hope that this is the right spot. I would say it is a fair distance over to that gate. But we might be able to do it. Let me have a go and see where the actual no fly zone starts. You'll see it very clearly. It's bright orange hex, uh, hex hexagons or oct. Nah. Sixagons. <laughs> I shall be poking my nose in it. Be careful. You only have a yeah, second. Yeah, careful, or two. careful. You're right, right in the uh, dead zone. Really? I can't see a thing. Is that the way I need to go? Is that the, the location? Yes, I so need? you will see the very, you know, the blue light um, that's it's sort of going on and off every sort of a, every second, and that's what you're looking for. It's exactly where I'm pointing towards.
<laughs> Sorry, lads. So, Merrick, are you able to see the no-fly wall here? Yeah, I did see it. It was uh, covering that area. I didn't want to get close to it. Really? Five hundred meter jog. It's not too. Okay, I'll come back then. See what we can see. What this thing can do. The hold should be open if you'd like to try. Oh, I can see it very clearly. The wall on this side. That um, turret is in kind of in the way. Warning. Deck collision near. Oh, keep thinking I ought to come to you. But it's up to you, because if you want to get over here, then I'll wait. But I'm dead tempted to come to you. <laughs> well, either way, if we're going back, you're going to end up catching us here first, so we might sort of fly together. Well, say, it's going to take me 10 minutes to get to you. We're just about to run 500 metres to try and get a vehicle out, and it's going to take us a bit. That's going to take a bit of time, isn't it? Right, let me come and find you. Uh, Merrix, are you looking? Lieutenant Squirrel, set course for Hurston. Uh, oh, are you, sir? Hurston said course, yes. Oh my god, go, I think man. I'm losing hey, it. <laughs> uh, maybe I should get my landing gear and the wings up. How many people can I be in one evening? Time will only tell. My mobile glass isn't working. All these huge walls makes you wonder what the city is trying to keep. To keep the desert out. That's why they're there. And so those bandits can't come and attack. I mean, it is called Lawville, after all. Do you know, Merrick, so I believe I need to um, stick my nose inside diagonally in, the, in order to fit. Is that what you need to do? I'm, uh, I'm already running in, I can't spot you. As long as you're not careful about the paint job, Oh, that's handy to know. Achieved. I've just found a shortcut. Have you had a game with Silver yet, Marix? Have I what? Uh, had a chance to play, uh, have a game with Silver. Silver 1, 2, 3. 
I've played Star Citizen with them, but that's a different thing. Yeah, yeah. That's what that, yeah, that's what I mean. What else does he play? No idea. I I only play Star Citizen, that's it. A bit biased. Yeah, that's my afraid. regular driver. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, mine too. I built built a computer for it. St stuck to it. I have tried other games. Uh, I, I like racing games. I've got a steering wheel and so project cars and things like that. But now I'm afraid Star Citizen is the only game for me. And I've just managed to jump into your server. Have you finally made it? I think so. But you're already in the server. Yeah, I just had to crash, get out, because it wasn't working. I couldn't get my Moby glass open. I think there's a workaround in there, whereas you can, uh, you know, to set your destination on your Moby glass, you can use your MDFs, I believe. Anybody know? What does MDF mean? Uh, Multifunction display uh, on your ship. You have a uh, lot. You have five or six MD MDFs. Um, yeah, and you can you can use them independently. This is not good. What's up? Um, apparently, I. I tried to get my nose up and it's got sucked into a wall and I just got thrown through the roof out of the ship and now the thing went zero the throttle. Let me recalibrate. Yeah, I think you might be knackered. I think that's the technical term for it. Is that all broken? I will mend it. <laughs> Good luck with that. What I've discovered with this is if you if it's if it's a little bit broken, don't try because chances are it's very very broken. Yeah, and, and you've only got a tiny tip of the iceberg. Yeah, and you can try for an hour to get what it what you want what you want it to do and not achieve it. So you might as well just quit and start again. I know, last night on here, uh, a few people, a few lads on Discord, spent about an hour and a half trying to recover, uh, I think it was a 600i, that had got its nose stuck in a cliff edge. Yeah, and they were trying to lift it up using different spaceships, and, and in the end, they gave up. They had to. So, I don't think it's worth the effort. I I see it differently. Go for it, yeah. Be my guest. Prove me wrong. There were a couple of guys who ran out of juice. No, they're cutless. Uh, midway I think, between. Is that what it was? No, I'm sure it was. A, I thought it was the 600i. This is a different occasion. And they ran out of juice midway between Hurston and and our. Uh, what's it called? Stanton? No, not Stanton. Uh, what the gas planet? You know. No, the, it it was definitely on a planet, and it was definitely crashed into the planet, and they were trying to free it up. It was stuck in it, and they couldn't do it, and in the end, they gave up. Now, the reason that there was a lot of people on synchronizers last night trying to do it is because it was full of cargo, and they were they were hoping, and and sure enough. Uh, when they quit and came back, the cargo was still in the ship. So, 
they spent an hour wasting their time. Anyway. Sounds like yes. somebody spent all their wallet. They did. They loaded up Cutlass Black at... Uh, do you know Jump Town? You know what Jump Town is? Of course I do. That, that's it. Yeah. Can you can you point me in the direction of Jump Town then? Because I can never find the bloody place. Yeah, you want to head there? Yes, please. I'm at Olisar at the minute. I've just got my Cutlass and I'm leaving. Yella, here I come. <laughs> so what I was saying was that at another time yeah. there was a couple of blokes who ran out of juice midway on that trip that you're doing now. And they got yeah. stuck in the middle of space near Stanton the Sun. And yeah. I decided to set out for them and, and find them and I eventually did and I rescued them and brought them back. What? Because you can't do a lot about cargo, can you? You can't rescue the cargo. You can rescue players, but not the cargo. Of course not. No, but the the challenge was that you know you have to you have to quantum jump to them in the middle of nowhere without any you know any place to jump to really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. I don't know if you know this, but in-game, you know when you quantum, say between Olisar and Hurston, if you quantum, and then after a couple of minutes, press B, you will drop out of quantum, and you will be in deep space. Absolutely. Now, now the problem is, if you need to turn a right in deep space, how do you do that? <laughs> now then... It's all about spatial awareness and lefts and rights and ups and downs because you, you can be upside down and your right becomes your left and yeah, navigation by direction is extremely difficult. Yes. The so only thing you can hope for is a bearing. Exactly. 235 by 412. <laughs> what you can do is you can aim for something that's really, really far away but in the general direction where you want to go and then just jump for a little bit and then you change direction and then you triangulate your way well I've done the so you, as it was referred to on the video the white the white dong so you follow the white dong until you find the three mountain peaks and you want the mountain peak on the right hand side and you head towards that until the sun comes up or until you decide it's time to go down and I go down and I can never find it I'm, I know I'm close I do I realize that yeah it wouldn't take me much uh, Merrick so basically I made it into the ship but it's too large to sit on the actual um, floor of, of you know the lift so I'm hovering manually in the ceiling inside and I'm assuming I'll try and set it down when you get the lift up. Alright, I'll be there shortly, I've got the view. Oh yeah, I can see you coming there at quite some speed. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah, it's a lot faster than the view. Uh, what are you on? Fun. It's a tumble. Excellent, have you found the turbo button? Oh, I just did, yep. <laughs> it was awesome, isn't it? That's the shift button, right? Oh! Where did the hammerhead go? Oh, no. It disappeared. As did I. It's an oddity. I wonder where I'm headed now. Probably wow, back this... to your bed. So, this ship's really responsive comp compared to what I'm used to. Yeah, that's what I thought about the Merlin, too. This is a cutlass. <laughs> oh, you normally and drive lorry, then. When was the last time you flew an, an Aurora? <laughs> yeah, they're quite nippy. Aren't they? No. 
Yeah. I only had one in the beginning, but I thought it was quite quick. It it used to be. They used to be back then. But they've done a... a anyway, until next month and, and the new flight model comes out, all of it's academic. Because when that comes out, everything's changing. Not right. changing, changing, but it's a brand I'll be new... Right yeah, brand new flight model. I mean, IFCS has been with us since the beginning of Star Citizen. So to redesign the flight model is major. It's very big. And they're playing it down. In case uh, you haven't realised. The flight model was done by a physicist, not a physicist. What do they call it? Someone that deals with physics. So he's a physician. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Someone that deals with the actual flight physics, the guy that did it originally, was it John Crew? I think it might have been John Crew did the flight, the original flight model. And he based it in a real physics grid. And now they've realised that it's not what the way they want to go. They've not gone into detail about what they're doing, but I think they are dumbing it down the flight model, I think they're making it simpler than it originally was designed. But they're not telling you that. Well, I had to kill the game and reload. Yeah, done that. Must have been a really harsh ending then when I disappeared so basically both chips disappeared immediately then is anybody else having problems with the mo like getting the mobile glass up eh, no. hang on let me get out of the dr let me get out of the driver's seat that's a good idea yeah that could work every time I click it it just opens and closes opens and closes opens and closes so I can't set a destination. Ah! Get out of the seat. So, seems like the server has um, got a slot available for me. I guess I'll be on the train again then. Are you hanging around at Erston then, yeah? Yes. I should imagine so. Should I come and join you? Or should I go to the drug lab? No, because I'm not getting to the drug lab. I'll get lost. Yes, come and join us. This will take a minute. Okie dokie. I'm on my way. Hurston. So, maybe... Sorry. Do you want me to spawn something again, Merrick? Oh, he's gone, isn't he? Has he gone? Well, Did he move down? No, no, I, he's, he's just a BRB. Um, I'm thinking maybe he needs to respawn the hammerhead and I need to respawn the fun bits. So I don't know how to sustain the ship <laughs> at the gate because they seem to disappear on us when we park them up. I don't know about that. So oh. you're on about outside the landing zone, just on the random land that you can get close enough to the landing zone to land and then run to the gate. Yes, yeah. basically. And and they get despawned from there, do they? They do. I've had it twice today. Leave, leave your engine on. Oh, leave the engine. Your engi leave the engine on and then leave the ship. And then it shouldn't despawn because it's active. I have a new problem. So I've got oh, three I... screens, right? And the the two on the sides are showing the game, right? And the one in the middle is showing wow. all is our loading screen. Somebody just killed me. Really? Somebody just shot me in the fucking head. Where? Unbelie in my own ship. Are you at Hurston then or? Um, where was I? Did they interdict you? 
I was just sat in space in my ship and somebody came up and just killed me straight there and then. It was epic. I wish I were recording that. That would have been fantastic. Yeah, watch out for bad guys. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. <laughs> well, fantastic. Oh, wow. I can't believe somebody just took me out. Now someone's just nuked my cutlass black. Why oh, yeah. are that's freaky? I weren't expecting. Oh, it. lovely! I just got criminal state. Oh, were it Merrick? Did you just take me out? <laughs> I mean, how is this possible? I'm back. No way! I've just found a secret ideology, Grimex. Secret what? Hidey hole? Uh. Yeah, just like a bit where you shouldn't be able to go, but you can. Like you can, like you can hangar? snipe there, dead easy. Just take people out that were spawning. Anyway. So I I tried to load the game and I ended up with a new bug, which is that the loading screen remains on one of my three screens. Infinite, <laughs> infinite loading. Well, I was in the game, but the loading screen stayed on in the middle and I got a, a crime stat for nothing at all in my room hmm that is so, a new one yeah and now I can't um, get back to the menu again so exit game I will do relaunch server Best advice I can give you is just to simulate a crash by closing your launcher. And it'll give you a rejoin instance once you yes. get it. Good tip. Well, I see where my hammerhead is. It's uh somehow 10 kilometers away. Really? Well, I'm back at Grimex. And I'm back at the menus soon. <laughs> so where's the Merlin gone then? Because it didn't explode. Ooh, no, I don't um, know. It's uh, my reliance gone and my cutlass is gone. We we have to take a look inside the hammerhead. So I'm if I'm coming to you, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a cutlass because it, it it can handle the distance. If we get an Aurora, don't know. Don't know. It's a local star system for local people. We'll have no intruders here. Seems we have our own adventure here to take. It's now a mystery where the hammerhead and Merlin went. Well, it's also a mystery where I went. They got turned yeah, into space they? dust. I must have ended up in the gentleman's club because I wasn't I didn't have access so they pushed me out. The gentleman's club? <laughs> no, what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the gentleman's club, is it? I say old chap. <laughs> I got I got invited into the gentleman's club. No, it's um what's it called? It's right next to the ship spawning area. Yeah, it's an exclusive club or something. Yeah, it says but the on reason the wall. why they didn't let you in is because you didn't have your top. Oh, it's the yeah. Maybe it's because I was running around in shorts. Mile high club. Whatever That's it is. It. Yeah, I I tend to do that. I tend to go into space in shorts all the time and then I realise I shouldn't go outside. All the times I've walked outside and died because I'm wearing like a, a long leather coat and and yeah, no space there, mate. Forgot my helmet again. You know, God damn. It's it's not a huge problem if you're in a ship where you can actually get out of the seat without going outside. Yeah, but when you land at Olisar, you've got to leave the ship. Yeah, you just got to run for and it. And you forget. 
Yeah, it's sent squirrel. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Absolutely. Wow. Ensign Squirrel. <laughs> Give me a name then, because I need it. I need either, well, engineers. I need an engineering crew, uh, and anything else you can think of. Chief engineer, or I'm thinking three Smurfs. So yeah. what, like Chief Engineer Spanners? Well, I'm thinking uh, Bob, Fred, and and. Bob, Fred, Dirk, I don't know, Tom, Dick and Harry, <laughs> but they'll all talk in it, with ridiculous Smurf voices, yeah, if, if they're not all talking at the same time, which probably makes more sense, because they're like a cloned species, but there's three of them instead of one, but they're all the same. No? <laughs> Am I overthinking it? <laughs> Is there a way, using Discord, right now, for me to give you a soundbite instead of my microphone? Can I do a sound sample to you instead of my Good. mic? You need a uh, soundboard for that. Can you not just do it? Welcome to Metro Center. Well, Transfer if it's something audi audible, that's, that's the other line. Let me have a look at what I can do on Discord. Soundboards are awesome. I have thrown away that many like proper 5.7.1 surround all the yeah soundboards because you don't need them most pcs have actually got that facility already built in now it's not as good granted but does it work yes does it need to be complicated no it doesn't it just needs to work so using this what can I add? It's, it would be really simple settings. You know where you set your microphone up? It'll be there. It would be nice if Discord did have an input functionality where you could have more than input. Just to do a sound bite. Yeah, like two seconds. Giggity giggity. Yeah, at the press of a button. To override your mic and, and put a sound bite in. I've heard about systems that do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, I'm not asking for the earth, not really. Ignore this tapping noise, lads. It's just me, uh, I'm 420 in. Hope you don't mind. So, Merrick's um, yeah. rerun, or what's the plan? Ooh, I'm trying to figure out if I can get to this thing. I think they stored it somewhere. Teleported. I was just riding around outside the, the wall. Oh, are you are you in the vehicle? Still in the vehicle, yep. Right, so you better tell me before I get to the, you know, what I should be spawning. Try try the Argo. I bet you that. What can you fit in the back of a Cutlass Black? And I will come and pick you up and you can get your vehicles in the back of my ship. Have you got a, an Apoa Nox? Uh, no. Uh, don't anymore. So what do you what do you want to do with the Argo then? <laughs> Wanted to keep it with an persistent beyond twenty four hours is really what. I... 
Okay. It's well, just that... a groovy little personnel stroke cargo carrier. But it's not very fast either. It's more ship to ship than ship to shore. Don't you reckon? Yes. Yeah, the uh, So, Merrick, are you still seeing the hammerhead icon? Yes, I am. Alright, well, I guess I'll bring the uh, Argo out then. Oh, well, I finally just got it on my side. I may be. Well, I'm at Grimmix again. I just respawned my cutlass. I'm going to set off and head towards you. Real. And I'll let you know if I get there. Or not. You know, this, like... this time you shoot first. Oh, it's gone. My ship's gone. I was too late picking it bloody up. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Not saying I've just been stood here or like sat here for the last 10 minutes rabbiting while my ship got spawned and then put back in the hangar again. But yeah, that's exactly what's happened. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, the, the truck uh, righted itself on. It works. Well, this will be fun then, launching this little thing out of the hangar. I'll tell you what then, given that I'm coming to Hurston and not going to the drug lab, I will uh, be lost. I'm going to be lost at Grimex. Uh, I will come in my uh, Reliant. Oh, please do. J just for something different to fly. Yes, we're all about different today. Yes, I'm about different every day. This thing looks like something that sweeps the streets. Kind, I am completely lost at Grimex. I've just gone through a door and I'm in zero G and there's no lights on. Right, I, I'm now Where listening to the awesome I? voice of this ship. Come on. Well, it is a space sweeper of sorts. You know, it's it's difficult to tell whether it's male or female or child, but it's interesting. Engines on. Wow. Still new pieces to find at Grim. Who knew? I thought I knew this place Whoa. inside out, and That's yet I've just been through a door and did not know where I was. Resource managers for information about exciting career options. Oh. That is so cute. Right, Merrick, en route. Wait till you get here. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. This thing is the strangest thing. One hundred percent. Okay, thank you. And actually, you won't be able to get here because uh, there's a boundary. Oh, you know how I've I've got a nick, you know, getting around those things. One hundred percent. I'll just pretend I'm sweeping the streets or something. They'll never know. No, they won't. <laughs> 
What is that noise? Fuel, 100%. <laughs> Squirrel, turn the engines on. Uh, yes, sir. Here we go. Riding myself. Perfect. I made it. I'm out. Alright. Let's see. Needed to find a place to get look inside. Look up, buddy. So look up. Me? Look uh, no. I don't see it. Whoa. Need uh, some uh, gradient. See him. You're saying you can't see me? No. Eric's. There you are. Yes, I am. <laughs> there you are. You, you can fit this in there. Someone's shooting at me. Someone's sending missiles at me. Whoa, whoa. Firing missiles at me. What the fuck? I only just left Grim X. Leave me alone. This thing is twitchy. Lister, who is it? I don't know, don't worry. I'm doing, I'm evading like a mo Sorry, excuse my language. Yeah, couple decouple, couple decouple, engines down. You know, if you decouple and turn your engines off, yeah, you can get away with just about a wow. zero EM. Wow! Seriously? No, he's just found Come me again. <laughs> boost, 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 afterburner, 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 don't hit the rocks. Go on, Merrix, it might work. <laughs> Oops. No, it's not gonna work. Come on, let's go to the uh, port. We'll come back. So, where's the uh, hammerhead? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think we have to call it. Yeah, we need something huge now to fit all this stuff. I think these two pieces would be. Um... Viable. Might be able to fit them. How do you like the Lambo I doors? I like that. Lister, are you still alive? Just. Yeah, this guy is still after me. I'm getting chased around Grimex. I'm doing alright. I'm holding my own. Isn't it time that you set off away from there? It would be if I had a couple of seconds. You must be like a magnet to those pirates. No, it's a guy in a, uh, what do they call it? Yeah. Launch complete. Warlock. Vanguard? Yeah, he's in a Vanguard and he's just keeps tracking me with missiles and guns and I've got four on me at the minute. Lot, lots of strafing and that thing is to... properly Whoa, fast. don't hit the rock. Don't hit the rock. Don't hit the rock. Afterburner boost. Crazy manoeuvre. Wow, that was close. Yeah, tumbrel is fat. I, I don't know if there's any no-fly zones here, but I can't see any. I'm looking for the blue light. I see one there. It is. Well, no. This is just like a massive obstacle course. I'm hearing a no fly zone here. Yep, it's coming up. 
It's telling me that I should be careful, but I'm just a old little ground bee. Yeah, you should be fine. I'll have to stop around here, though. You boys are. Hey, Dark Cypher, what's up? How's it going? Hello. Oh, I'm dead. He had me and bollocks. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Getting my ass handed to me. <laughs> I, I do that every day. Just, mate. just outside Grimex. There's somebody in a, 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 what's it called? Bigger than the saber. Vanguard. A vanguard. What? A guy in a vanguard was taking on me in my cutlass. Do you know his name? No. I never saw it. I, I just got multiple missiles of various types incoming. Lots of missile warnings, lots of guns streaming at me. Yeah. Yeah. So that guy's a griefer. Um I did about I did about three minutes, I think I did quite well. I'm not bothered. It's it's all fun. When it gets the game launch, then I might be peed off if somebody starts griefing me, but in the meantime, no, it's all it's all gameplay, isn't it? I saw your uh, I saw your video, Lister. Quite funny that. Which one? Because I've got um, a new one out today. Oh, did you? I need to see that. That's it then. Thank you. Yeah, you you yeah. saw ship shagging, epic leaps, and drug running. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's... There's a new one out today called Space Insanity and the Funky Gibbon. Dead crash. <laughs> Dude. Look. What can I say? It's all in the title. <laughs> And over here we're trying oh, be to load them. What? There are matadors on the server. Well, a few people are playing um, in PU holding an escort, so if you want like escorts and uh, protection, just I, I guess you can go play with them if you want, but if you want to do your own. We had planned to go over there when we heard that matadors were free. But it seemed they uh, neutralized the situation and it wasn't necessary for us to migrate over there. All good. Is everybody still in mining? Or is it Looks mining up. or is it just uh, transport? Oh, they're doing, well, they're doing holding an escort um, in, in right now. I guess um, at least... Is that, what, is that what they're doing or are they just having fun? I'm pretty just sure it's a bit of both. Wondering about yeah. jumping down a channel, but... This is quite nice, really... you know, because it's not too busy. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, if you want a quiet channel, we've got quiet rooms down below, so you can use this. This is actually a public channel, so anyone not part of Synchronizers can join this. So... Synchronizer! Hey, you know the tune, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going in. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to put it up free for anyone to use. It's our is national it? anthem jingle. Yeah, multi track recording studio. What do you reckon follows it then? Synchronizer. You think it's good, but it's better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, help me out. I need I need the second line to the uh, the first line. What goes with synchronizer? Synchronizers actually has this slogan after that. Not not the Cosmos of Terror. Uh, there's another one. Ah, uh, oh God. Never fly alone. I think. It... Space may be lonely, but you don't have, have to be. Has <laughs> Has anybody seen uh, Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny with Jack Black? Yeah. So, what's that line he does in the film where it's like? Um, Synchronizer, it's better than that, but it's good for you. What is that line? Help me out. Somewhere in that film. No. Probably Nobody. been a decade since I've actually seen it. Yeah, snap. <laughs> Make the yeah, time no for idea. a rewatch. Wasn't that 2001 or something about? About there. Eh. Uh, I think it was uh, a bit later than that. A little bit later than that. Pick a destiny, 2005, I reckon. Oh, Merrick's where you off to? I'm going 
going to get the hammerhead. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just wait around there. I'm going to come back over there. I'm, you I'm already to... inside. <laughs> I'll run back. So I left the engines running this time, so we should be good. See how you go on. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that dates me a little bit. I'm just looking at my sky panel and it's Plumberman 2009. Ooh. Okay. I am so controlling myself right now. I really want to buy that endeavor, but I really don't want to. I like it, Merrick. The best ship is friendship. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> you can't buy that. That's a fact. These gates at Lawville, they're so difficult to run to that, you know, the picture isn't black and white before you get there. I'm just glad my mic doesn't pick up how loud my PC is. Same it's like here. a fucking air conditioning unit running in the corner. You want to hear mine? <laughs> Is it loud? Might be here. One sec. Excellent. Could you hear the uh, the turbines whirring? I couldn't hear a bloody thing. Oh, okay, never mind. I can but hear then I, I, I have got my game effects up high, so all I could hear was the air conditioning at Grimex. <laughs> I'm sure if I picked my mic up and took it over to my, where my PC is, that you would all go, oh yeah, we can hear that running. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah. Isn't it? I haven't got a side panel on it at the moment. And there's a toxic sticker on the front. 6.1. Don't go near that. Make your arms and legs fall off. The detail on these tumbrils are uh, it's quite good. Do you know, I've just realised that I need to turn my sound effect volume down and my music volume up because I've got my music really low and the music to this game is really quite epic. It is. Speed 100, yes. Ship computer. I played Diablo 2 uh, soundtrack music to this game. Have you tried uh, voice attack? Yeah. Uh, I've thought about it. It's pretty good actually, um, but I don't use the default profiles. It's a lot easier if you do your own profiles, but it just takes a bit longer to set. I've not done my own profile on it yet. I, I, I've got it and I use it and I like it. Now I've been looking at the ICF packs. Because of my age, uh, there's a guy called Paul Darrow who used to be in a TV show called Blake Seven. Now that was my childhood, and I know him, and I would I would love him to be my ship computer. Minus his name is, if you want to go and check out the minus on the HS voice packs, it I think it'd be pretty cool. But then, well I could do my own, sir. <laughs> You know what I mean? It wouldn't take much. 
Just a bit of time. Landing gear deployed, sir. Squirrel. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Have at it. <laughs> uh, okay, sir. By your command. Feel free to drop it into second. Very well, sir. Dropping it into second. So you can see where that would be attractive in game, sort of. Hilarious. To a point where, where you'd laugh at yourself, yeah. Yep. My heart, the hardest part is dropping back to me now from doing that. Because I can't. Like, my. Uh, okay, Captain Lister. Captain Lister. I am Captain Lister. <laughs> oh, that's it, nice. Okay. I want to set course for Orion, please, Squirrel. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, Orion is set. Am I mad? Or do you think it'll work? Or am I mad? <laughs> I think it's all good. Try my new video. If you watch my new video, then you can come back to me and give me a, an honest opinion of, you know, Lister, you are barking mad. Or, no, if you refine it, I can see what you're going for. They are. That's the kind of it. In essence of video. From being a kid, I've always done silly voices. Or not silly voices. Just impersonating people. Not, not, um, it's just what I do. It's kind of who I am, man. It's kind of who we all are. Hmm. How's Some it going, more than others. Hey, I feel like I'm going back and forth on the train. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it too. You, you there oh. now? Yeah, I just got back. I had to let my my third eye. What's how you doing, on? pal? Doing well. How about yourself? Yeah, not bad, thank you. Usual level of madness achieved. <laughs> awesome. Put a new video on YouTube if anyone, if you'd like to view it, you're very welcome. Lister of Smeg, it's in 3.3.6 uh, and gallery. So you'll find a link to a video. Sorry, I, I shouldn't really try and promote myself, but no, that's cool, man. You definitely should try to promote yourself if you're making videos. I mean, that's what everyone that makes videos does. Well, the latest one is... Uh, the first one is reasonably normal. The first one's called Chip Shagging, Epic Leaps, and Drug Running. <laughs> now, the second one is called... Which only went up today, incidentally. Uh, the new one is called Base Insanity and the Funky Gibbon. So... I like your naming. Thank you. <laughs> I think you should name our event going forward. Well, anyone that wants to join me is very well, you know, very welcome. Yeah. And and you'll get mentions and credits if if you want to be associated with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's more fun than sensible. We shall see. Lister. 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 Okay. Yeah, brother. Right, so. Doing some crazy voices tonight. Woo it's always busy on your, on your server, Marix. I have been stuck here. Oh, it's happened to find a pretty good one. And those are the ones that people are uh, persistent on. Yeah. 
I can be most times persistently mad, <laughs> or annoying. That many chopping <laughs> <No. laughs> Nothing of the sort. And pretty consistently, when I try and join my own server, it ends up being bad. Like there's a lot of texture loss and laggy, what have you. When I join people, it seems to be that their server is, you know, well put together. Yeah. Grass is always greener. Uh, uh, yeah, I say I'll, I don't think that's the case. I think it's just just the way it appears. Perception is everything. It appears as if I'm guarding an Argo and a Tamru. I'm working on that now. Mama's to uh, Tisa. Just born at Grimex. I will come and find you. No more messing about. No more Mr. Nice Smeg. Yeah, it sounds like you need to, to, you know, roll your sleeves up if you're going to leave there alive. Yeah. Stop chewing good bubblegum and start kicking ass. <laughs> And I'm all out of bubblegum. Yeah. They're just re-releasing that, aren't they? They live. I would, I would play it. I would totally play Duke, Duke Nukem. I mean, I still have Duke Nukem for the 64. Do you remember a film called They Live? No, I sure yeah. don't. I do. That's... I actually, for a while, I thought about making a mobile app. Uh, that would be similar to Pokemon, where you look right. around and you find those. But like, you look through a crowd and yeah, yeah, and find like, random one. random aliens, and then you just have to like shoot at them. That makes a lot of sense. I can see that working. They live up. And then like the problem is, is that um, point it at a night poster and it says obey, obey. Right. <laughs> so the problem is, is that there's no object recognition right now on smartphones. Like it's not that far along. So you wouldn't be able to look at a person and have it look like an alien, which you probably wouldn't want to, right? Like you don't want people going around pointing their phones at people clicking a bunch because then that's just going to cause some anxiety in society. Uh, but it, like it, it also wouldn't be able to uh, recognize any sort of poster. So you'd have to have fake posters around. But it would be cool if it, you know, if you could see like a billboard, hold up your phone, and it's. If they put one of those, I don't know what they call it, you know, like a, a binary tag, a black yep. and white square, if, yep. if they had that and, and you could use your phone and it could just reconfigure it to give you an obey or... Uh, right, yeah, so it'd have, you'd have to be looking yeah. at those sorts of things. Like, I, I was buddies don't with question a guy, or... he made yeah. like a laser tag game for I, iPhones, but you had to be sort wearing of. one of those tags, you had to print out the little tags that wear them so you don't you know because it's not going to register a person it would only register those little tags yeah I don't think the big companies would let you do it like you say if you pointed it at Coca-Cola poster and it came up this is your god <laughs> right I, d I don't think Coca-Cola would actually let that happen <laughs> Even though it's true, or McDonald's, you could use any amount of. Uh, right. Yeah, it'd say something what, like what's in the real happy. world. Yeah, well, I mean, at the end of the day, if it, you know, if there was actual just object recognition, I'm iPhone, just glad that they are re-releasing the film for all the people that have never seen it to get chance to see it, because it it's it uh, thought provoking. Yeah. And the first it one, is. I mean, it was a classic, but it was a little cheesy. Oh, ultimately, yeah. Um, the longest punch-up scene you've ever, ever, ever gone through. Him and that black guy in the alley. Mate, it's really comical. It is it's proper comical. Isn't that, is that the movie? I'm trying to think, because in South Park, there was, uh, the longest there was Timmy punch and Jimmy, the two, the two, like, crippled kids. They got in a fight. They basically remade the fight. I think it was they from that did. movie. I think yeah. it was from that movie. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there was a dumpster involved. A 
Wow. What the hell? I've just... My ship's just chucked me out of it. <laughs> Good day today, eh? Uh, Reliant Core, just outside Grimex. I'm looking at it right now. I was in it, I converted it from landing mode to normal flight mode, and now I'm outside without the ability to get back into the driver's seat or get the back door open because it's in flight mode. That's so excellent. the hammerhead was stored somewhere else entirely and it was unknown, so I have to... And it's currently uh, in... Exp oh, really? Yeah. So that's what I'm waiting on. Sorry to make you... Well, at least it's a, a nice day out and good FPS. Managed to get back inside, lads. Thank goodness. Brilliant. The door functioned after all. And the merits. Chairman's Club is well the done, name squirrel. of it. It's a third eye. Thank you, sir. I almost got my 25 and 5, but I ended up dying a couple times towards the very end, so I was 25 and 7. Oh damn it! Yeah, I was like twenty-four and and five, and then I died once, and I was like, oh well, like yeah. that I one's a yeah. yeah, it really is. Right. So, given that I've managed to get into the back of my Reliant in flight mode, I cannot access the actual uh, ca cabin at the front. Because it's rotated, I have a, a door, like a panel, in front of me. So you can't access the front of the ship. The back's right. wide open. Back's wide open, but you can't get in the front. If anyone's near Grimex, anyway. Should I record it? It's quite interesting. Why not? Okie dokie. I've never been in that situation. No, I don't think I have. But here we are, stuck outside my ship in flight mode. To be one for CRG, this. Yeah, what an amazing day you have. Indeed. New videos, exploration. And falling into the back of my own spaceship. <laughs> you know what they say? You have to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start all over again. No, you still can't get into the front. Oh dear. Scroll, I think it might be time to detonate the ship. Oh no, the squirrel's not in there. Yeah, that's why you have to have a co-pilot. Somebody wanted to tell me how to detonate your ship? Do you, have, do you have to press an old backspace or something? Yeah, yeah that's, that's self-destruct. And suicide. No, that's me dead. But not the ship! Yeah. <laughs> you have to be in the ship to activate it, right? Yeah, you have to be on the uh, pilot seat. And as far as I know, it's shift and backspace, isn't it? So you just killed yourself now. I have. I'm that's, dead. That's fantastic. Born again of Grim Hex. So that's like the third time in a row now you're trying to leave there. Dude, you want to see what I was like at Hurston for the last week? It, it was verging on well if you watch that video that I posted yeah it covers the insanity that I have gone through this last week yeah I'll have a look at that Still, I'm still going through it <laughs> yeah indeed I feel so uneventful over here uh, guarding the Argo
I've only recently bought a new graphics card that's allowed me to do recording. Uh, I've also got a new mixing desk and a microphone. Uh, and so, oh, and some new software, some multi track recording software. So it's kind of gone a little bit, hmm. But I'm learning. Every day I'm learning. So improvements will be made for the next video. Excellent. Hmm. Hopefully. I tell myself the same thing and then I constantly mess something up. But that doesn't... I mean... So I've done two videos. The first one I was just recording uh, on a, recording somebody else's live stream but as a third person which I put up and I got a few likes and I, I watched it before I put it up to make sure it was okay. Now this second one is totally different because this second one was done uh, all I was doing was playing the game and knowing that the mic was live I jabbered now I didn't know exactly what I said until I watched it back to, to myself uh, and found it hilarious <laughs> then I played it to my girlfriend and, and she was laughing her head off so I thought okay then instead of instead of this being a rehearsal I shall just put it up so this is the rehearsal of hopefully what will be better AR Why I'm excited about putting a video on YouTube, I don't know. But I am. Yeah, just like I'm excited about the Argo having Lambo doors. It's a weird feeling. I like the Argo. I do. It's like... It's like the yellow cab. Yeah. <laughs> or the Johnny yeah. cab. You know the Johnny cab out of... Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger film on Mars? Total Recall. Total Recall. Hi, I'm Johnny Cab. Where do you want to go today? Yeah, I think the Argo is a little underappreciated right now since we don't really have a carrier to put it in. But once, uh, once this game is a lot more developed, cost of fuel and the amount of time it's going to take to large to take like no one's going to be landing their idris on a planet because it's going to take forever it's going to cost a bunch of money for the fuel like you know Argos i'm sure become, uh, that very, crg very yeah, sorry I'm sure. I'm sure that crg will make uh mission specific jobs for the argo as easy as that so as if you know you, you either need to rent one to do it or you have to have one in your fleet yeah well even if they don't make the missions i have a feeling that uh you know you're going to see people on planets offering to ferry people up to space yeah so that uh yeah exactly i mean think about how long it takes for large ships right now to exit atmosphere and the argo's got big side thrusters so go, going up vertically which is i don't know about you but when i leave orbit or uh, leave planet side I normally just go vertically straight up because I found that with afterburner you get as much upward thrust as you do from actually being pointed vertically so just keep horizontal and just use vertical strafe and the Argo I can imagine being very good at that Although I might have just been talking bollocks because the Argo's arms rotate to the reverse of the ship when it goes from landing mode to thrust. So, Yeah, probably. I think they're decoupled engines. Uh, I, I, yeah, I saw it on the CRG video because the, the thrusters are the landing legs. 
So you can, like I say, you, you get the same amount of thrust from whether they're pointed back or pointed up. Just at the minute, uh, the flight model seems to give you equal thrust, if not better, going strafe up. If you know, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, it's not as as powerful as it was in 2.6. Um, any sort of strafe was you could go the same speed as if you were going forward. They're kind of doing slowly doing away with that. In the new flight model will even be more. Uh, I say when when the new flight model comes out, it's all going to change. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the new flight model. I'll have to see how it looks and feels. It seems like the biggest difference is going to be that you set what your max speed is and you'll just continually get up to that speed without any sort of afterburner uh, and I then... think the new flight model is a simpler dumbed down version of the original because the original, was it John Crew who did the original flight model the ICS? No idea uh, he, he deals he was to do, it was all to do with physics, the actual momentum and uh, it was based on a real flight model now I think the new one, they've thrown it out the window, along with him. Yeah, and they go into a much simpler flight model than what they had originally. Are you saying that the uh, the expo? I mean, what you call it? I think it will be more playable, but less realistic. Now the original flight model was based with real physics. Now I think the second one is it's been dumbed down. A long way to make it more gamey. But Just we'll so see. I understand, we'll though, from Citizen Con, was it a different flight model than that? Is it changed from the Citizen? I Con believe at Citizen Con they actually had the new one. Well, no, no, no. They well, they were talking about the new one. They talked about the new one during Citizen Con, but it's still it's basically the flight model that came out in uh, 3.0 is still here, except that they've added ESP or they've messed up ESP to where. It has that sort of auto aim function, which I cannot stand. Well, no, because that's what ESP is all about. It, well, it's, uh, ESP, it, it's, it's not supposed it, to have an auto aim. It's automatic aiming, and it assists right. you in a dogfight. Right. Well, which... what ESP is supposed to do is when you have your crosshairs close to the target, it's supposed to reduce to the sensitivity. It. Well, it's supposed to reduce the sensitivity so that you can do more fine tune aiming. Um, really? Right now, the way it locks on to. Uh, to the target, I, I thought it, it pulls right. you away. Since I mean, you're supposed to be able to. You have to lead a ship, right? Like you don't just shoot center mass. You have to lead it. And right now, with ESP, pulling your crosshairs towards the uh, center mass, it it makes it almost impossible to get a good shot on that uh, lead pit. Right, I'm with you. And so what it's supposed to do is within an area, a certain area around that target, it's supposed to reduce the sensitivity of your, your flight stick or joist or mouse or whatever. I'm with you. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It does. And that's how it was for a long, long time. And then they changed. I think the reason they changed it to the current model is because uh, it assisted aiming with turrets. Because with turrets, you know, having that little bit of extra auto aim makes a big difference. Uh, but when you're dogfighting, it... Also, you know, given the... Uh, if you're in a turret, the pitch and roll of the ship that you're in, yeah, obviously is going to be directly related to your own idea of where the target's going to be going the next moment. Right. Yeah, something I liked in uh, 2.6 that they also got rid of is when you would lock onto a target, well, first of all, it would show you, you know, it would show all the different targets out there, right? And it would have uh, distance for all of them, even if you weren't locked onto them. I liked that. Um, but then in addition to that, if you were locked onto someone, and I think maybe even everyone else, it would show a tiny little arrow showing what direction their uh, momentum is taking them. It wasn't necessarily what way they were pointing, since you could be strafing forwards or backwards or whatever. But that would sort of help... Uh, help someone figure out where they need to you basically you could anticipate their moves a little bit better because you could see their mm. momentum shifting before it even really registered uh, with the, the flight pips or anything like that 
I've not tried it in this model, but uh, I'm going back to 2.0, oh, 2.6, easy. Um, and I used to revert, because you had, uh, I'm presuming you still can, change your pips from lead to follow. And yeah. I, ch I always had them as follow, and I found it much easier to locate my target than have them my pips as lead. Yeah, but, so... I, there's a guy that used to be in this org who's probably like the best pilot I've ever seen in this game and what he would do is he had a, a hotkey where he could toggle between the two so yeah. if he was at a distance he would have it set up as a lead pip nice uh, where the pip was leading the, uh, the target and then if he got really close he would switch it to the lag pip because he could uh, it was easier for him to target a specific spot on the ship so if he was fighting a large ship or if he was in a really close in dogfight um would switch it to the lag pit. Yeah. Yeah. I always uh, use lead pit, but I always key, lock my uh, hot lock key my allocation pit. on the keyboard is, is only a dream of mine. One day, maybe I'll get that point, but. Do you use a uh, joystick? Uh, e Xbox 360 joypad. Okay. Key keyboard and mouse. Uh, I have got a dual joystick gaming chair, but it's in the other room and not currently connected. So I'm waiting till the all the different commands for, get finalised. Then I'll bring my joystick gaming chair in, and, I, and then I'll look at it. Can you follow me? Whoa! I, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> ESP man. Yeah, yeah. ESP is a nightmare. But yeah, it's also see, because it because it does that auto tracking. If you have a friendly target and you're just trying to fly by them half the time, it just pulls you right into them. Yes. Yeah. GTX, are you you all right? Yep. Head shorter. I can imagine it being useful in a dogfight, though. Well, you would think so, but since it's pulling you center mass, you're when you're trying to pull away to aim with that. You know, you're trying to pull the crosshairs away so you can get those lag pips on it or you're trying to pull your crosshairs yeah. away aim with the lead pip the it's constantly trying to pull you back the computer so you can, you know, yeah it's like you get this weird wobbly motion it's really hard to stay to keep your crosshairs where they're supposed to be I could, so that's yeah. everyone's that uh, makes a lot of sense uh, yeah. esp off gentlemen <laughs> yeah the problem with esp off is that then you don't get that additional sensitivity so i always i have it to set to toggle uh where if I'm not in combat, I turn it off so that I don't accidentally crash into a friendly. So, but then as soon as I get really close to a target, I'll turn it on. Because even... What though key do you, have you allocated it then? Uh, it's on my joystick. I just have a button that I just click. Right. GTX, were you leading me to the time? Oh, sorry. That, it disappeared when you spawned the hammerhead. Okay, that's fine. I'll just set it down here. Sure. Well, I, I must have been stood at this terminal at Grimex for about the last 30 minutes, and I have not been kicked off. So, what are we doing, gentlemen? Should we do something? Yes, we should. Should we have some fun? Can we, can we, please? Let's go to jump set. Yeah, let's bring the Argo. What's happening in here? Shenanigans. <laughs> no, no shenanigans happening in here. None What's whatsoever. Right? Uh, no, nothing happening in here, sir. Alert. Deck crash. Close. Is there a J-bind to walk in the storm ring? Because I feel like I've accidentally hit it. Like I'm really sc Scroll up on your mouth. Without sp Quick question, how long is a sale on a... Today. Uh, it finishes tomorrow. I think it's right. eight, eight days, I believe. Doesn't so, it go through the... Yeah, fourth? through the weekend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Party on, people. I'll be right oh, back. Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow's the the party.
pilot days. No, what? Well, I don't know, some kind of for the pilot's day or something. Whoa. Um, if you go to the, the sale page, it should show you a, a calendar. Um, so today's manufacturer spotlight. And then, uh, so let's see how many. So through the 4th of December, uh, the sale's going on. It says for the fledgling pilot, and I'm guessing that's uh, going to be game packages. Oh, guys, the annual arrow Q&A just... Uh, sorry to interrupt. I'm basically melting down my entire fleet, with the exception of my band new merchantmen, and just reorganizing it. It's not a huge Same fleet, but I, uh, yeah, I really want to get a saber. I'm tired of not having a real de designated fighter. All I have is a couple of Hornet uh, loners and a Hurricane. Um, Merrick, so you landed it on a rock. I think it's not all the way down. You're right about that. Uh, I can change. Landing complete. Launch complete. This thing is, this thing is so twitchy. I think it's, I don't know. Alert! Starboard crash close. Watch out, the ship might jiggle when the elevator comes down. Um, it's, it's, there's a big rock underneath, right? Yeah, thanks for that, I can walk normally now. Alert, deck crash close. Did I miss the entire free flight week, by the way, or is it still active? Yeah, it's still active. You just missed the, uh, the days that there's rentable. The last of what? Yeah, because you've missed uh, six or seven manufacturer yeah. uh, ships. Uh, you can only try the ships out when they're on display? Or? For 24 hours during that day. Oh. Uh, is the background loud, by the way? We're doing it. <laughs> is the background noise loud? Oh my god, I am sorry, gentlemen. I think I might have lost it. DTX, I think you need to bring your landing gear. Guys, is the background noise too loud? Yeah, a bit. Yeah, it's only coming through when you're talking, um, though. Not happening. Yeah, I'm keeping it in pressure talk. I can't right. really do much about it, I'm not in control of the volume. I'm gonna move to another channel. I don't know where, but I'm moving to another channel because it could get really strange. Uh, I'm gonna record, <laughs> I'm gonna do some recording, uh, and I'm gonna waffle a lot. Now, if anyone wants to join me, they're welcome to come and find me. Yeah, no, I'm just going to be recording privately but if any, anyone wants to come and join in they are welcome but be warned so but thank you chaps it's a pleasure always and I will catch you soon yeah keep your eyes on YouTube for Lister of Smeg yeah I, I am the Muppet the red animal Muppet anyway until next time until next time buddy or later see you around Mr. Yeah. Make sure to um, use one of the streaming channels since they are private, and the streamers can. Join. I can't. I can't stream. If I stream, I can only stream in 720, and I've not tried it, and my computer is not that good. But what I will do is I'll just go to another channel now and start recording. Uh, I... 
give me a minute and I'll come back and I'll tell you what I'm doing and then if anyone wants to come and join me, you're welcome. Yeah, how's that? Landing complete. Well, Miles, really unlock your uh, Star Marine Landing broke in this pack. I need an engineer anyway. And a doctor. And a lawyer. <laughs> Don't think that the Argo is going to fit in the hammerhead. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Is there any chance that the elevator will be, get bigger if you're in the air? I don't believe the dimensions will gain in volume if I get. Let me give it a try. This is gonna be good. Oh, okay. It's it's real twitchy. You know, think of it as a Formula One car or something. And and it sticks to everything. Fuck me, they're almost uh they're almost closing to five million from this anniversary. Oh, well, it looks like when I melt my game package, unfortunately, my original game package came with Squadron 42 uh, and 10,000 credits. Now I won't have Squadron 42 and I'll only have 1,000 credits. But. It's not that Jeez. big of a deal. Squadron 42 is only like 45 bucks. And, uh, uh, that's... and I don't really care that much about starting credits because at the end of the day, that stuff's going to disappear so fast anyways, it's not even funny. True that. Now I just need to figure out if I want a Freelancer Max or a Freelancer Dur. Freelancer Max, man. Maximize that problem. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Although I do kind of want to have an exploration ship. because um, I think the Freelancer Dur is the only one that comes with a warp drive on it. Not a quantum drive, but a warp drive, like to go through the uh, the wormholes. The others, you'd have to buy that separately, or like upgrade your ship. I could be wrong. I think that's how it used to be. We'll just have to see if it'll fit one. Yeah. I'll, I'll be right, right back. So, which ship has got the biggest loading door or bay? Uh, flyable uh, today. Is what it? are you asking about freelancers specifically, or just talking about all ships? Not all ships. Uh, I mean, anything hey. flyable. Biggest loading door, I would say. Uh, right now, I'd say the uh, Starfarer has a pretty big one. Um, What's about constellations? Are they shallow on the inside once you pull it up? Yeah, I mean, pretty much whatever you fit on the uh, pad, you're not going to be able to move it off that pad once it goes inside. I'd say right now it's probably the Starfarer. You can fit like three Cyclones in there. Yeah, maybe we can squeeze the Argo in there. Uh, the Argo doesn't fit in there, unfortunately. 
Um, we used to try that a long time ago. The only ships that have fit in there are uh, the Merlin, and now maybe the uh, Arrow. I'm not sure because that Arrow gets kind of small. When you go in flight mode, it brings up its wings. It might be able to land inside there. Who did we lose? Was it um, not Nightcore? Not Lister. I guess it was uh, Dark Cipher. Dark. Oh, everybody! Shh, shh, shh. So, anyways, I, that's how I saved Christmas. What's going on, buddy? Not much. <laughs> Nobody say anything. I, like I say that every time Alcatraz joins. I'm like, so, anyways, <laughs> that's how I saved Christmas. At first it confused me, but now I understand. Alright, what are you guys up to? Trying to fit big things in little things. <laughs> well, that didn't sound right. Kinky. With you, Merrick, I thought it'd be the other way around. It fit thin in that Okay, so here's a question for you, Merrick. Since the hurricane is complete garbage, should I upgrade it to a prospector? Yes. You could do that. You could do uh, Mercury. A2. A little bit more money. Or what now? Do, uh, oh, the Mercury, yeah. The Hercules. The uh, Apoa ship. The Santa Kiai. No, the too? thing is, like the right now, there's a package. Uh, it's the Prospector Pack game package for 160 bucks, and I think that's about what the uh, cost of the Hurricane was when I first got it. Wait, wait, wait! 160 bucks for the game package. Yep. You're kidding, uh, never right? mind. It's a war bond. It's a war bond. But uh, uh, Misc Prospector wait, Pack war bond is 160 dollars. That, oh my god, the ship itself is 155. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty awesome. That's, that is awesome. Although it's occurring to me wait, now wait, that wait. every single package they're selling right now is war bond, so I'm not going to be able to melt something and get... That sucks. Oh, the really cheap ones. Yeah, but I mean, still, like, it's been 35 bucks. Get the uh, Aurora War Bond. And then upgrade that with uh, credit to, you know, turn it into whatever I want. Yeah. Wait, so every single one of them are War Bond. Oh. Yeah, every single one of the game packages they're showing are War Bond right now. Oh. Damn it. That's a really good price as well. Thirty-eight fifty. Merricks. Yep. Let's go somewhere. I was gonna try and get get us a little ride over to uh get a little ship. Um maybe if I look in game I'll packages right itself. Ooh. Oh. Oh, never mind. I was like, oh, that's really cheap for thing. Then I looked at it, realized it's just the starter package. Oh, these ones are crap anyway. They don't come with Squadron 42. Yeah, no, my, I'm keeping my package permanently because it's got Squadron 42 on it. And it's $60, so.
suppose we should just go. Let's go to the jump town. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on, jump to the town. Your uh, uh, cockpit pressurized? I don't know. You'll you'll find out. I will. It seems to be. Here. Yeah. So keep the windows closed, will you? <laughs> I don't think we'll be riding convertible here anytime soon. Uh, yeah, good, because I don't want to mess up my hair. We could freeze dry it. Sure, you could. I'm sure it would be permanent, though. So make yeah. sure you like it how it is. Oh, also, uh, Third Eye, have you checked the uh, thing? How uh, was it called? Bot Info Channel? Third Eye? Is Third Eye there? I might have stepped away for a minute. Okay. Kind of quiet around Laurelville today, isn't it? Yeah, it seems to be really quiet. Bless. Lots of servers are full. Everyone must be playing around with what they rent. You know, cheap thrills and all. Yeah, but it's uh, it's, it's still decent. You know, there's not too much weirdness going on. Lister is still in here, apparently. Don't see him. No, he, he kind of made it off of uh, Grim Hex. Let's see what happens. Hey guys. Hey Wobot. Hello. Hey, my third eye. Hello. Are you there? He's AFK. Okay, when he's back, me. could you ask him to jump into the office and Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Thanks. Oh. You're welcome. Oh, what? There's even more people on mine down below. Shit. Not people on. I didn't know. I thought it was like a very small, select group of people on mine. Yeah, there was a original quest. Matadors were, um, we all kind of flooded. Oh, really? Flooded in to take care of it.
whichever you made the bed. This is going to take a long while to do something like 80,000 80, altitude to get through, and we're at 19. Yeah, awesome. So should I uh, mix the cards? <laughs> yeah, you should. You get the dice out too. Maybe some... How tricky that in this, uh, in this attitude, you know, with dice. just makes it more interesting. Yeah, he gotta run back to the cargo and find them. The tables aren't so spiked. Oh, maybe he's got artificial gravity. By the way, have you tried, um, you know, strafe forward and and thrust up and all that stuff all together? Whilst leaving the atmosphere, no. Yeah, so you can just go all in with everything you've got. Well, it doesn't seem to change anything. We're fighting headwinds right now. It's got us at 80 meters. So the thing is, when you do strafe and thrust, uh, well, down, um, you lose speed, but you gain, you gain vertical speed. I'm giving her everything she's got. Yeah, it's like a light show outside of from all the thrusters everywhere. Oh, would you look at that? It looks like a front is coming in. You mean uh, weather? Yeah. Yeah, the weather is uh, very quick on this planet. about I try and divert some power to the engines. You seem to be accelerating. Two sixty. 
time for some overclocking. How about now? She seems to be uh, leveled out at 355. That's, that's a decent speed. And now we're really climbing in speed. 400. Yeah, we're all in now. The engines are 2,500 degrees. We've used a quarter of our hydrogen just trying to get out. I think that's quite normal for a big ship. 500? Five fifty. Five sixty. Excuse me, six hundred. Six fifty. Altitude sixty five thousand seven hundred meters a second. Two days out. Seven hundred meters a second. Oh. Altitude ninety thousand. Altitude, 100,000. 100,000 is maximum altitude for the lower hill. Oh, here. So we're about to go into orbit then, right? Yes, we're in atmosphere. We're out of atmosphere. Is, are we at max speed? We're at 911 meters. Balancing out power. Quantum travel initiated. All right.
right, here's the long leg of the trip. Yep. Hey guys, I just want to let everyone know that the Q&A for the Anvil Arrow is out. For the Arrow? Yep. Cool man, thanks so much. I'm glad you stopped by. Yep, see y'all later. Thanks. Later. This thing is quite fast. Yeah, she's fast in quantum jump. We're nearly there. Yeah.
passing CRU L2, swish. Grab a coffee. Go ahead. I mean, from CRU. <laughs> in, in, you know, just open up the window and shh. is the first step here all right the first step will be once we get the grim hex we turn right and then jump to hurston i'm sorry not hurston to yellow so okay. we can get it close the gap right so there's no om there's just from from uh, grim hex that's it It'll be a little difficult to see, but we'll turn up our gamma brightness contract. Be yeah. Able to see a lot better. Night vision. Indeed. A lot easier to see. All right, so now turn around. Yeah, we we shave off like a hundred kilometers. Of travel complete. All right, that's nice. See. This is where we get max speed. Oh right, on that. Thank you, sir. Wasn't exactly implying it, but <laughs> we we'd have gotten gotten there just as fast by uh, just boosting. Now every little helps.
Now this is the first crucial step. You want to find the three dots. Tip at that in the white area in front of us. Which we're pretty much aimed at the third white spot on the right. We're going to orient ourselves so that we find two ridges. Beyond those two ridges will be uh, two dots, two mountains. Which we're going to line up to now. And I believe we're lined up with it now. So the ship keeps changing on me. It's here we are. Okay. This is more or less the most difficult part. Yeah, especially now, right? It doesn't help when the game is not running like it ought to be. It's texture loss because you lose your landmark. Are you having issues now? No, I can, I can pretty much tell from what it's rendering for me. Basically, directly vertical up from that dot on the right that's beneath us is where we're headed to. There's two ridges in between that and where we're going. From the dot to the through the two ridges and then the two mountains north of that. Relatively. It's a really large mountain when it comes in. Yes, it's probably uh, difficult to see. Uh, where we're headed from the co-pilot seat. I'm not too sure that the cursor is accurate. All right, turned up my brightness. I really see well. If you'll look with me in third person with uh, your gamma, t your gamma brightness and your contrast turned up, you can really see what I'm. You see the dot down there kind of to our left and then above that is this long dark area it's like two ridges basically it's brown when it's daytime and yeah. then on the tip of that on the right the tip of the ridge that I was just talking about is uh, two large just above it in fact it's very close to the tip All right, and it, that's it. That's jump down. Okay, I'll keep monitoring. 
I don't think anyone's following us. No targets. It looks like the face of a seal that we're headed to. Right? Uh, what does the face of a seal look like? You know, like a... A sea dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but a baby seal in this case. A white It's got two little eyes and a nose and a... I get it. The top left eye is where it could even pass as a, a pug's face. Yeah, just got a bit difficult seeing it now. It looks really cool in third person. That's interesting, I'm not able to scan. Can he scan? Let's see. Uh, it doesn't seem to be activating. Okay, so now that we're closer, do you see how there's one, two, three little mountains right there? Yep. Well, the two mountains above the one that we're closest to create a crescent. They're connected with a little mountain chain. And that's how you can really tell that you're getting close. Hey Yeti. Yeti, Yeti, Yeti. Yo. What's up? Hi. Jump town.
confused. My lights don't work either. Oh, there's Jumpy. Right there. Can't seem to lock on that target. We've got a constellation down there. Gear deployed. Yeah. It's messing around. Oh, he's going. His name is Tech Geek. Tech Geek. Doesn't have any widow aboard yet. Okay, so you can scan that. Oh, interesting. Scanning and um, ship lights start to work when you're not in the. Uh... Hmm. Do you guys think I should melt my compass package? in my Argo and by the prospect of half instead. Dude, mining is so tedious. Yeah, but you can make so much more money and I don't have any UEC to start right now. I don't know, man. They might change it since uh, once, once uh, let's say, what's it called? The, oh, once uh, salvaging comes, I bet you that'll be the most lucrative for a while until we see something like uh, you know, balance changes and commodity prices change and stuff. Where's the tower here? I mean the turret. Turret? Top one? Yeah. Alright, you'll, you'll want to run to the back of the ship. Okay. And it's the middle. It's in the middle. What if I melted my cutlass package in my Argo, bought the anvil arrow with LTI? No. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Why? Because the arrow sucks. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean just for the LTI. And then upgrade oh. it to the cutlass. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. Yeah, no, I tried the arrow. It was not great. At least not with my flying skill. I lost the wing within like 12 seconds. What happened? I was looking, you know, around in the tower and it just went badunk and then I died and then the tower started going down or something. No idea. Isn't that similar to the last time something happened in the tower or turret? Keep an eye out, there's been shots. Small arms fire. Yeah, I died. You died? Yeah, the turret 
killed me. Oh man. Indeed. All right. Note to self, stay out of the turret. So now I'm invisible. You're invisible. Yep, one hundred percent. I shouldn't be too worried. By the time the Mercury comes out anyway, it'll be the next anniversary sale. So why am I in the yeah, the Mercury's the one you want to get, bro. That thing's cool. I, I know I want to get it in game. I just don't know if I want to get it before. I just don't know what I want to start with. I honestly don't. That's my major issue. Yeah, I'd melt everything and get the Mercury if I was. I, I actually have enough in my game account to do that. I just don't know if I want to yet. Because I feel like that's going to be my primary ship once we're in game. Not my primary money making, but my always the normal one that I'm in. So it's like, I kind of want to have to earn that. I feel like the Cutlass is a good place to start to be able to make money. And maybe after a month or two in game, I could afford something like Prospector and actually start building up my ship fleet. just keep subscribing to give them money instead and get the flair that comes with it DTX where did you spawn yes no where Lorville oh lord yeah I guess that's the thing. If you if you're gonna do some runs, maybe land somewhere and spawn closer or something. Oh yeah, the Argo is still here. Oh yeah, I guess you could take that if you want. It's still taking ten minutes to get to it. God, the Argo is so stupid. I think it's going to have a huge role, like um, Third Eye was talking about it. I mean, will it? Yeah, especially something like in, like the Aegis or something that needs a lot of crew. Like, remember, we got it before they announced, or I got mine before they announced that the things that Carrick would be able to dock to his stations so we could crew Jeremy's Carrick. So I bought mine. Does the Argo dock? No, it's a tiny little craft, so you can, uh, if you've got something that has a small hangar, but you, my fear was if it was on something like Port Olisar, when the carrot comes out, it's going to be a big thing and everyone's going to want in. And of course, you always try and go get them. So before you could lock ships, I got the Argo because then we could see who's in the Argo and not have them come steal or stow away on the carrot. We'd see exactly who's on it. We could fly out take out whoever we needed to and then land in the uh, the Carrick and, ha and crew it that way before docking and just walking across or something. It was basically a shuttlecraft from Star Trek. Minus warp okay. capability. Uh, somebody's missing with the party. I was real excited that the Carrick was getting bigger, but now that it's just back to only probably 10 to 20 meters longer, a little bit disappointed. But I mean... I mean, it's still better than a downgrade, so. I wouldn't get disappointed just because of 10 meters. No, I, I'm more about the look of the ship, is what I'm disappointed about. It looks chunky. It I'm does. cool with that. But it's real, real nippy, you know. It's quick and agile. I mean, once it's in game, I'm not going to care. It's going to be awesome. But, like,. 
Eh. I just hope they don't make other ships chunky. It's just from the side. I think someone on this channel posted it. It just has a butt now, which actually kind of makes sense for center of gravity and engine purposes, but still. It doesn't I'm quite look like the Carrick they. It doesn't look as threatening as the one they showed us, which makes sense, but. Hmm. Any idea how to make the calls work? Hey, it's Alcatraz. It's the guy who doesn't miss. Huh. <laughs> Just don't go down at me. Bet he doesn't kiss you. Oh, God. Blech. what Lorville buys Widow, if it even buys it. How can we find out? Well, I could come pick you up. And before I pick you up, I can just go check the uh, trach on. You know, I appreciate that, you know, but it's uh, 1.30 a.m. here. It's getting time. Oh, it's, it's almost time. Huh? All right. I but, just you know. ran outside without a spacesuit again. <laughs> Whoop <-a> doo <laughs> <laughs> But thanks for the offer, Merrick. You know. No problem. I think somebody's trying to get a hold of me in here, but we can't make the calls work, you know, the video calls. I noticed that they, they um, disconnected function of uh, communication. Yeah, I think it has to do with issues. I was always crashing out whenever I tried to activate audio. But apparently, if you, if you manage to get the call ringing, then you can chat, pers you know, personal chat. Yeah, chat definitely works. Not so much with four.
I really hope that they're going to introduce something for polarization of the view screen because it's kind of hard to aim quantum if the sun is in between you or behind your quantum point, which is a really small issue. I just think it'd be cool if they added polarization. And it's honestly cooler than a needed feature. Yeah. You mean polarization? Does that mean uh, some sort of auto darkening of the sun? Yeah. Where like it the, makes oh, the, the actual the, uh, screen. Yeah, the glass will go will go darker. We have that in cars, even. Like the Teslas can't do it, but there was a OLED car that they made that does that. It does it with headlights as well. Basically, you know, transition gl glasses. It's those but for your starship. Yeah. Definitely. Neat. I also wish... Hey, they they said they're going to add ship functionality to uh, the uh, mobile glass, right? Like, you'll be able to open and close doors or turn on and off, on and off power and lights. To an Ivy glass? I don't know. Because I'd like to be able that. to keep the power for my ship on when not in it. You can. Hello, well, I mean, you have to go in it first, but like if it spawns, it's already off. Um, I I would assume you'd have to go into the ship to turn it on. You you do. The that's why the, all the oh, running lights in the back of the cutlass are off at first. No, like uh, like even where if they had that feature, you'd have to go in first to turn it on. And also, if they had that mobile class feature, it opens up hacking your ship's power. So they said they're going to be able to do that, though. That's part of the point of oh, the Herald. What? Yeah, the Herald has the oh. data spike missiles. Oh yeah, no data spike missiles. That's a completely different thing. I mean, like signal hacking, where you can do it wireless regardless. Oh, data spike missiles. You know, that actually, actually cool match you. onto the ship. But That's... you'll be able to hack people's shields down. Yeah, 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 but you have to have the missile attached to them already. No, no, no. I mean, they're, they're talking about how the Herald, you'll be able to hack people's ships. The data spike will do random controls or shut them down completely. But they're ta they've said that you'll be able to try with whatever their mini game or their, their skill is. You'll be able to actually not commandeer, but cause damage by specifically targeting things and not using the missiles oh now they'll probably revert that because it is kind of powerful but i'd like for that to be in the universe it'd, it'd be kind of cool as long as they make it extremely difficult to do i'd be fine oh yeah they should like there should be you shouldn't just be able to go buy a ship and do it like you should actually have to work on your skill that make this even cooler i'm also terribly concerned as to why there's dust flying through the inside of my cutlass from this quantum jump you die if you take off your spacesuit in the back of a cutlass? I don't know. We're about to find right. out. I think you'll be fine, but I'm not sure. Nope. Nope. You're not fine. You're definitely not fine. <laughs> okay. Noted. <laughs> what happened? I managed to miss the uh, minimize button and hit the update button. Mike, oh, you've got background noise. Please stop that. Um, hey, so also, fun fact, it does not fix if you go back into the front. Dope. Oh, I forgot to add push to talk on the same button as Afterburner. Why can't I heal? Good question. Oh, I guess it just killed me, and so now my cutlass is just continuing to hurst him without me. All right. <laughs> oh, time to intercept. So, uh, and now I am in Port Olisar, but Port Olisar didn't load, so it's just people and ships. It sounds like bad server. I'm on yours. Really? Well. Yeah. Should w should be working. This is really interesting. It's very slowly loading Port Olisar, asset by asset, getting closer to me. So I can just see the intro. This is kind of cool, actually. I'm not going to lie. Any any cool stuff that we don't know about? 
No, but I wish that they had more internals at Port Olisar. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of stuff they need to add to make it feel bigger. Like, one of the things that's definitely going to do, though, is one, persistence, and two, when you can just throw shit everywhere. Like, the static clutter on the 600i, if you can move that stuff around, place your drinks and stuff, place little plants, place the fucking two bucks I paid five bucks for, that's going to be so cool. I wonder if Deadpool found the Easter eggs that Sig told him about. I'm Deadpool now and... frozen in my bed. Bunch. What Easter eggs? There, look, ship. Perhaps uh, another widow plate. Drug lab type thing. Merrick's what happened uh, at jump time there with the gunfire. So, um, dude shot at something. Some, kind of my direct. The three in his face and he dropped. And I think he rage quit because his constellation just despawned. Right. Went inside, uh, like a freelancer came in and landed. And we were like, you cool? We cool? Yeah, we cool. And got my cargo and went. Nice. Yeah, it all worked out. That dude didn't have any affiliation with the other guy. Yeah, that's good. So, any idea why why there's always thunder when you spawn at Laurelville and just walk out to the first sort of balcony after the hub? Thunder, I haven't heard any of that. I just walk down the first set of stairs where the guards are always watching and you know, just look at the spaceport from from the hub and you hear this thunder all the time. So the spaceport, the Hurston spaceport, is uh, demolished. It is broken apart. Yes, sir. Hurston L3, HUR. Oh. How how is it broken? It's blown up. It's, it's clearly uh, it's just. So what, is that a feature, or are you saying people uh, have got some really nice weapons? It's not a bug, it's a feature. So is, is that supposed to be like, a surprise, you can't refuel anymore? No, I think it's more like this place doesn't exist, oh, therefore it's just exploded blown up or something. So I'm, I'm looking at these rings. These uh, gyroscopic type rings are just floating into space. Okay, right, so that's sort of like the, the place where you get all the missions. Yeah, it's like if you can imagine all stars ring, they're uh, blown up. Is there something I'm missing? Yeah, that definitely doesn't look like it's supposed to be. But rather it is bro. Oh there it is. Huh, that's weird. I guess that's a little Easter egg. I found the spaceport truck stop.
That's not good. Dang it. <clears throat> you guys still here? Yeah. What's up? I got 30k missing. Excuse me? I got a 30k miss. It's cutting out. A 30k mess is all we're getting. Ah. Yeah, 30k message. It's a crash code. Oh. Uh, Dope. But then get the 29k one instead. <laughs> Kill me. I want to get a verbal joystick so bad, but I shouldn't. Choices, choices. Well, it's between. Oh, I just reopened a giant cut on my finger. It's between. Like, I can get one of them right now, and then another one next month, and then finish off with the throttle at the end of next month. Or I can next, like, around like a thousand two hundred dollars. Or I can save that money, and then at the end of um, February, actually upgrade my PC so I could just with this game because right now it's still not quite smooth enough and I don't know how things are going to go so I kind of want to upgrade in the first place but I'm going full overkill with it this time mm, I'm still on that wait waiting for um, a better graphics card or one that's a good graphics card in a year or two time supposedly the uh, Asus 2080 Ti is the best there is right now. Only issue is you can't find it anywhere. No prices on PC Part Picker. There's not even an order button on their website. But like months ago, everyone did the reviews. They're like, oh, go buy this one. Well, where can we buy it? Because I go would. New egg. It's looking like I'm going to have to go. No, it's not on New Egg. Not the 11 OG it, or 011G. It's honestly looking like I'm going to have to go to a EVGA 2080. Because that's the only one I could find for a reasonable price. Yeah, there's still no price on the the RTX, the Strix o, O11C. I'll be right back. Why would you go to EVGA? Why don't you go to ASUS for it? No, that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. That you can't get the ASUS one anywhere. The ASUS cards aren't for sale, so as far as I could see, except for the I think it was a 2080, and then the 1080 TIs are way too expensive for some reason. 